Hey reptile people of the internet. Um, let's talk about something really gross today. One of the biggest asked questions I see on the internet regarding bloods and short tail pythons is why isn't my snake pooping? It's been six months. Why hasn't it pooped? Let's talk about that while we clean a few of my short tail pythons. Uh, this one's dirty. Let's get to it. Why hasn't my snake pooped in months, if not years? What's going on? Why do they poop like they do? Um, let's talk about bowel movements. short tail pythons are different than other snakes because of their bowel movements are so rare. And when they happen, they are so huge. First things first, short tail pythons love to destroy their glass. So all of this is going to need cleaned down. That's disgusting. I just cleaned this like six days ago. So one thing that everybody needs to know about Sumatra short tail pythons is while they might not poop, but every six months, two months, or a year, they urinate a lot. All of this is just absolutely soaked in urates and urine. And short tail pythons do this every week, if not more. That's why I prefer paper towels to just about anything else, paper towels or newspaper, because it's easy to keep clean. I can just take all of this up get it out of here, sanitize, and not have to worry about it. When you use bioactive enclosures, so short tail pythons and bloods just urinate and poop so much, or urinate much, so much, that the organisms in bioactive just cannot keep up with it. They need cleaned out every single week and sterilized every single time they urinate. So while we're talking about urates, I just pulled this out of another short tail's cage got destroyed. Newbies might not understand exactly what all this is. This is normal, hard urates, and short-tailed pythons have oftentimes bigger than this, just these big balls of hard, disgusting urates, as well as liquid. They do like to do it in their water bowls, and if it's not in their water bowls, it's usually in the corner of a cage. Um, this is normal in tail. You could feel, if you feel hard urates in their tail, it's just this, it's okay. When they have a bowel movement, it'll probably come out, or it might come out just with urine, with just normal urine. Um, so anyways, urates are nothing to worry about. Clean it up, get it out of here. Cage is mostly clean. Let's get this girl. So biologically, people might wonder why do they store their poop for so long? And the theory is, well, there's a couple reasons. Uh, they're ambush hunters, so they're gonna find a spot to hide, and they're gonna hide in that spot for four, five, six months. They don't want to foul it up with their stinky poop, so they hold on to it. And another theory is they're such heavy bodied snakes that they need the counterweight in their rear for their strike. So if you're, sto you're storing up all this, this poop, your rear end gets really heavy and it's giving you a heavier strike. So that's a couple reasons why they might store their poop for long periods of time. Evolutionarily, it's helped them and been beneficial. One of the coolest thing of things that I think about Sumatra short-tailed pythons is how little they defecate and poop. 
It is totally normal for them to poop every six months, eight months. If you guys have any year. questions about bowel movements or urates, I am more than happy to answer. I think that kind of stuff is fascinating. Uh, you can follow me on Facebook, Instagram, and YouTube as Nixalins Reptiles. And uh, there you go. Say bye bye. Bye, Hathor.